this video, let's explore how to work with gRPC in Postman. gRPC is a framework developed by Google for remote procedure calls, commonly used for microservices and mobile development. Compared to HTTP web APIs like REST, gRPC can be used for asynchronous and synchronous calls. It's actually a lot faster, more efficient, and you can generate client-side and server-side code from a proto file. Let's get started. Let's make our first gRPC call. Under the New button, we'll select gRPC Request. The same thing as with HTTP calls, you'll have your Request Builder on top and your Response Viewer on the bottom. For gRPC, the first thing we'll need to do is enter our server URL. I have a recently entered URL here. You can see gRPC URLs start with gRPC. You can enable TLS for a secure or unsecured connection. We'll leave that secured. And if your gRPC server enables server reflection, you should just be able to select the methods that are available on the right. gRPC uses HTTP2 as a transport layer to transmit data between client and server. So this means that there's four methods supported. The first one is the unary pattern, which is the traditional request response pattern. There's also server streaming, client streaming, and bidirectional streaming. Let's start with the request response. If you're not really sure what the payload should be formatted like to send to your server, you can, under the EG, generate an example message for your payload. And now we have our payload, and we can establish a connection and invoke our method. And on the bottom, you have your response data. For status code, you can see that there's a zero OK. Let's save our request as part of a collection so that we can share it with other colleagues. Let's call this one unary, not sure if that's how you spell it, and save it to a new collection. Let's call this exploring gRPC. Okay, so we're gonna save this request as part of this new collection. And now we see it on the sidebar here on the left. Next, let's go ahead and test our gRPC API. So the same as with HTTP APIs, there is a section here, this time it's called scripts. But the same as with our other types of calls, you can see that there is an area before invocation and after the response to write JavaScript that executes before your connection is established and you invoke your method and after. So after we get our response back from our gRPC server, let's go ahead and insert a test. And once again, if you're not familiar, just like with HTTP calls, if you don't know how to write a test in Postman, on the far right, there's the popular snippets. And you can have little code snippets, including tests. So let's go ahead and test that the status code is zero and Postman will insert this Postman test. Just like the standard Postman syntax, you have um, pm.test. First parameter is the name of our test. And the second parameter is gonna be a function that contains our assertion that the response is gonna have a status code of zero. So now that we have our test here under the scripts tab to execute after our response, Let's go ahead and invoke our call once again. And this time we have a response on the bottom, but now under test results, we can see, yes, we have a passed test. The name of our test was status code is zero. And that's passed because yes, indeed we got back a zero, okay. Let's just be really wild and say like, what if we asserted that we get back status code 200, HTTP standard, so let's go ahead and invoke our method again. And as we would expect, this test has failed because we were asserting we'd get back 200, but we got back zero okay. So now we have a test, let's go ahead and save our changes. Well, that's just like HTTP APIs. Yeah, it is. Let's check out one of the cool streaming methods. So let's go back to our request and duplicate it. This time, let's call it streaming. And we're gonna be working with our same URL, but this time, instead of selecting unary, let's go ahead and select 
client streaming. So you can tell, maybe you can't see it that well, but you can always tell I get confused by it unless I'm looking at the icon, but you can see this is the request. The arrows are gonna be request response. You can see request lots of responses, um, lots of requests, lots of, um, lots of greetings, lots of returns from the server and so forth, bi-directional streaming. So in this case, we're selecting client streaming. And so now we're going to, once again, we have our example payload. We'll go ahead and invoke. And this time it looks slightly different because we've actually established a connection um, with our URL. And now we can go ahead and send a request. This is our payload going. And in fact, let's go ahead and update our payload. Send, and here's our greeting. Send, and in this instant, we selected client streaming. The server is actually waiting for a number of client requests to come before um, returning a response. So let's go ahead and end our connection. Call completed. GRPC is a schema-driven framework that uses protocol buffers or protobuf to describe the interface and structure of the payload and encode the data during transport. So you can identify errors before invoking a call. Let's go ahead and save our streaming request to our collection. I'll close these tabs to clean this up a bit and let's create a new GRPC request. I'm gonna go under the APIs tab and I do have a couple API schemas listed here under my, um, let's just select single file. So I have a proto file here and I can return to my gRPC call. Under service definition, I'm going to select one of my protobuf APIs. We just looked at single file. And now that we've loaded our um, proto file, we can use a mock URL from our proto file. And this is a cloud generate, this is a mock URL hosted on Postman servers. And now if I select the methods, you can once again see the methods that were a part of the proto file defined under the APIs tab. So let's go ahead and invoke our call and very similar to before, except this time, this is a mock URL generated from a proto file. Now, if I want to repeat the same response, I don't wanna keep invoking different types of, getting different types of responses. I wanna um, trigger the same response. Let's look under the metadata for the response and you can see a key called seed. Let's copy that value to our clipboard and then add it as metadata to our request on the top. If we add the same seed as part of our request, we should be able to trigger the exact same response. So that's what we received previously. And now we can go ahead and send, send, send for a repeatable response. And you can go ahead and copy this mock URL to your clipboard, use it in your local dev environment the way you would other mock servers for prototyping, parallel development, or whatever else you're relying on mock servers for. Let's go ahead and save this call. And let's call this one mock server from protofile and save it to our exploring gRPC collection. Now you know how to explore, test, and mock gRPC APIs in Postman. The tooling and infrastructure hasn't really caught up yet to support HTTP2 widely, so adoption isn't widespread. But big companies, especially those with microservice architectures, are using gRPC for their internal service-to-service -service API calls. Let us know how you're using gRPC or if you're using Postman for REST, SOAP, GraphQL, or WebSockets.